So I'm going to Hong Kong and I'm taking you with me. But first I've got to go to London in order to get my flight out of Heathrow to Hong Kong, which means a stay over in London. So today it's all about the journey down to London in order to go and stay with my friend Chris, who just so happened to put me on the insurance for a lovely Mercedes SLS AMG. Let's hit it. Okay, so this is very much a vlog today, and vlog means Instagram post of the day. Now, the last time that I did a vlog and Instagram post of the day, it was also under sad circumstances because it was the passing of John Surtees. And unfortunately, today the world has lost another great legend, which is Chuck Berry. Now, Silodrome, these guys have been following for a while. Fabulous picture of Chuck there against a car doing his thing. The reason I've chosen this post is that if you're a very early subscriber to my channel, you'll know that I actually had a scene in one of my very early videos where it was Christmas time and I was singing to Chuck Berry's Run Run Rudolph. Run Run Rudolph, Santa's gotta make it to town. Santa make him hurry, tell him he can take the freeway down. And that's become a theme now. I did it last year, I did it this year. For those of you who might not know Chuck Berry, one of the greatest rock and roll writers of all time. Um, yeah, had an incredible run and made a very lasting impact on the whole world of rock and roll. So uh, yeah, Instagram post of the day goes to the guys at Saladrome. Go check it out. Touchdown in London. I tell you something, traveling by train and traveling by plane is by far the most productive time I ever have. Don't get me wrong, I love driving, but just be able to sit and not have to worry about where I'm going, etc. The amount of emails I just smashed through just then, even started some editing too. However, I'm very much looking forward to getting in this AMG. I've driven the SLS. AMG Black Series, but never a standard car. So interested to see how these compare. Anyway, taxi time and over to Christmas. Said it before and I'll say it again. There's just something authentic about getting in a London cab. Anyway, I poke my head around the corner here. There it is. Look at where all these cars are parked, right? People. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna hop in. Ah! Here we are. Right, check this out. It's all the way up here, but it looks good. Oh. Practical doors possibly ever. This is my mate Chris. Hi guys. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting this because it was so last minute. Chris basically texted me last night saying, if you fancy a drive in the SLS, uh, let me know and I'll just stick you on the insurance. Thanks for that, dude. That's all right. I stumbled across this car by chance, really. A friend of mine had it. Uh, he wanted to get rid of it, and I said, well, if you want to get ripped off by anyone, it might as well be me. <laughs> so, <laughs> made him an offer, and, uh, and he said, but it's the only yeah, one that I've, I've ever seen with the tan, with the silver I was going to say, tan interior on these you don't see often at all. But it also has the carbon fiber engine bay. 
Oh, we're gonna see that later, man. I don't think anyone has ever been dumb enough to spec. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided to swing by the Dorchester Hotel because this is normally, if there's any supercars in town, they are here. Fairly standard lineup, except for the cheeky La Ferrari, which is chilling there. This place is a gold mine for car spotting, man. It's well, ridiculous. Because people, they can park here. Yeah. I mean, no, no, I, mean I don't come from a car spotting things. background, but I know to come here. Yeah. Like, I know to come and check this place out. It's one of, it's one of the biggest five star hotels, whatever, in London, isn't it? Yeah. So, if people are going to kind of. Stay anywhere, they can stay here, it's got free parking, yeah. you know, people can Uber the cars. Standard procedure there. How cool is that? Barabbas G Wagon, is that G700? It's not an 800 G Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, far away, selfie time. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Take care, buddy. <laughs> you too. Oh, God. So I didn't expect that. So we uh, I thought he was chasing after your car, oh, so did not I, after I, me. I, I was about to say, oh, he, he was going to rev it or something, but no, he, he wanted the bearded <laughs> wonder. <laughs> that I didn't expect. I was like, man, this spot is keen, man. <laughs> clearly, clearly saw the beard yeah, from, yeah. From, from outside. Awesome. There he goes. Well, thanks, kid. <laughs> if you watch this, thanks for the selfie. Endless car spotting in London. Anyway, doing a spot shopping because uh, and, and this is on me, man. There's no way you're getting this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't take someone else's food when you're staying at their house. Always pay. Always pay. <laughs> but takeaways on him tonight. <laughs> it's practical too. Look at that. It sounds so good. <laughs> Sounds amazing. So this is your first drive this in a This is the first S. time. Well, funnily enough, I'm doing it a little bit backwards because I've driven a, a Black Series, which was very impressive. Uh, but I've never driven the uh, original. The original gangsters, so Exactly. To speak. And now I'm in this bad boy, which is amazing. Think of cars um, going TDF. turbocharged. TDF. TDF. We should probably... TDF the uh, around. Uh, yeah, I wonder if I, can, if I can get away with doing that here. Sure we can do it. It's uh, V12 like, Ape. That's, oh, that's, um, that's the Hugh, Hugh Grant's Hugh car. Grant. Hugh, Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant's car. Yeah. Grant. But, but every time I see a bike now in London, I'm like, how long until that gets stolen? Oh, look at that shit. It's been blown over. <laughs> oh, man, that's bad news. So, um, Chris has a particularly sore spot about living in London, is that bikes get stolen like, yeah. all the time. It's become and an it's epidemic, a, though. It's a shit it's, show, uh, man. You know, and to be fair, if there's any police watching this, yeah. can you get off your asses and do something? <laughs> you know? It's such a shame. It's... it's such a shame because we're basically living in a spineless society that doesn't allow us to protect our own stuff. Yeah. Like, I mean, we've been sent videos. 12C. I'm going to Oh, go, Volcano uh, Red as yeah. well. Good man. Lovely colour. We've, we, we've been sent videos of bikes being stolen in broad daylight. And if... The annoying thing is that if we went at them with a bat, yeah, it'd we're, be us. we're the ones that go to jail. I know, right? Face, I wonder what, what Hugh Grant would be like if we just went up and just had a chat about his car. Do you think he'd be well, like, it was open. be gone with you, peasant? Uh, HRO and see if oh, yeah. there's any <coughs> tasty taste Ferraris in the window. Yeah, two bikes stolen. Didn't you have a case where you came back to your bike to have a still saw wielded in your face? It was a handheld cyclist saw. Handheld cyclist saw. And they basically said, if you try and stop us, we're going to put it in your chest. So you were like, and I okay, said, it's fully, <laughs> fully insured, bike. enjoy yourself. And off you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. And particularly at the time, you know, my wife was two weeks away from giving birth. Wow. It's got to the point now where you can't leave your bike, if it's a nice sports bike or whatever, you can't leave it on the road. No, it's getting Which over. defies the purpose of, of having a bike, a bike in, in London. In London, yeah. Because the practicality aspect, you know, that you well, can park it anywhere. the whole point any of the bike in London <laughs> was the fact that you could yeah. just park it anywhere and you get into town in half of the time if you were yeah. in a car. 
But uh, great if you turn up and Whoa. they steal oh. it. I've recognised that. Is that Sam's car? Is it? Five? No. And no, MXT isn't, no. no. They look so similar. Well, they're yellow and they're old, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First drive in the SLS down, although it was in central London, it still be very enjoyable. All about those doors. Much more convenient than they appear because when they open, they're actually only just a little bit wider than the overall width of, of the car. So unlike the McLaren with the diagonal doors that like stick out a mile, uh, yeah, this is actually pretty good. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna walk back now with the and I'm gonna call it a day. That is it for my day in London. Been so good hanging out with Chris. Don't see that guy often enough. But tomorrow, we're off to Hong Kong. And as mentioned at the beginning of this, taking you guys along with me. And I think that's about where I'm gonna end the vlog. As always guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.